He's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? Time for the second task. I can hardly wait. Ah, damn, that's not what I wanted. I just wanted to look at the shelves and see how many shields I have. Or rather, how many I could get total. Okay, 26 out of 38. I hope that doesn't mean I need to collect the remaining 12 shields just to finish this fucking game. I mean, that was torture last time around. Welcome to the second task. Last night, something our champions value exceptionally was taken from them. That something now lies at the bottom of Black Lake. Their mission this morning is to retrieve it. Champions, you may begin. Well, the graphics look nice so far. Yeah, they look pretty good here. Rescue your friends. Friends, plural? I only need to rescue Ron, right? But at least we have a proper third-person view this time, where the camera is following Harry from behind, and unlike the first task, the button for the speeding up actually does something. Although, calling this speeding up seems a bit odd, since you have to press it to swim forwards anyways. Okay, so additional gillyweed is what actually gives you the speed boost, whereas the quote-unquote speed-up button just propels you forward normally. Oh, fuck, what's this? Something else I have to deal with? Okay, well, that missed by several feet. But yeah, I guess I was gonna have to be attacking shit underwater anyways. It'd be crazy not to expect that. Looks like the game's guiding me, though, by placing an aiming ring over an individual enemy. So whenever I hit the Jinx button at that instant, it should hit the Grindy low that the ring was hovering over. Oh shit. Oh, that's weird. I somehow hit one of them even though it was behind me. Did it projectile vomit at me? What the fuck? I guess those beans don't get soggy underwater. Now, aiming in this environment is somewhat awkward, though. I'm only using the left analog stick, so any attempt to aim throws me off from whatever general direction I'm swimming towards, and vice versa. It's not such a big deal in these large open areas that I'm swimming through at the moment, but that could be a problem in more narrow spaces. And I just realized I'm rapidly losing health, too. God damn it. Oh, I missed the gillyweed. Shit. Gillyweed. Get away. Will you fuck off out of the way? Why are there massive schools of these grindy low creatures? Ah, shit. Falling rocks again. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that looked cool, I guess. Harry, why are you stopping? Oh, is this just to fight more of these things in a stationary position instead of shooting randomly at them while moving forward? I'm gonna be spamming the Jinx button either way, for fuck's sake, and time is of the essence here! Okay, good, you're swimming forward again, but you're a dumbass, Harry. I mean, you, uh, you, fuck, damn. Well, I do like how these games recycle music from previous titles. Now that particular piece we just heard for a few seconds is what I would typically hear when fighting the imps in the Prisoner of Azkaban game. I think they're taking parts of some old music tracks and combining them with other old tracks and probably new stuff as well to make new combinations of background music, which is pretty cool. Now this bit of music that's playing right now feels new to me. Okay, what the fuck am I looking at? Or, rather, what's looking back at me? Ah, oh, shit! I died! I forgot my health was so low. Boy, it's taking a while to load. Oh, fuck, I'm being sent all the way back here. Damn, how many minutes ago was this? But well, it's only one or two minutes, but still. Yeah, shit. I don't know, I'm just irritated. I hate being sent back. And I'm already down to 90 hit points again, so every attack subtracts 10 hit points, and 
Also, I just realized that I'm starting with 100 health points instead of the usual 120 I'd equipped myself with using one of the cards. Now, why even allow me to add health if I can't use it everywhere I go? Is it because the cards would get soggy underwater? I don't get it. Or shit. I mean, I need that extra health for Voldemort and everything, right? Damn. Okay, a lot of the time, what seems to happen is that the aiming ring is rapidly jumping from enemy to enemy since they're moving, and I'm also moving, and I can't permanently lock on or anything, but when I do decide to shoot half of them, the jinx just goes way above their heads and doesn't hit anyone anyways. Or at least it seemed like that it was doing that earlier. It seems to be easier now. Ironically, that may be because they're further away and the Jinx has time to steer itself towards the Grindy Low if it starts to move. Okay, so here we are again. Now why the fuck is there a doorway blocked by a wall of glowing eyeballs? Do I have to destroy those too? Yeah, okay, that aiming ring also appears over each cluster of eyes and can be destroyed. I just wish these children of Cthulhu would fuck off and get out of the way. The door fell? Just like that? Do I still need to destroy these things? I can just push it out of the way? What the fuck? Well, at least those Grindy Lows spent a lot of their time just hanging around motionlessly instead of ganging up on me all at once, and fortunately that massive stone pillar colliding with me didn't do any damage either. Well, this is an interesting change of scenery, at least. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Okay, those eyeball the eyeballs hurt you. I must have lost, like, 20 points over the last 10 minutes because I wasn't paying attention. Shit. Ah. Crap. That really cost me, didn't it? Surely they let the champions know ahead of time that they only had an hour to complete the task, right? And some of that time has already been used up anyways. Why tell me that here and now? Okay, putting aside the subtitles that are here so that the player can know what the mer people are saying, is Harry supposed to be able to understand any of this? I mean, I guess it shouldn't matter since he should have been told all this before the task even started, but still. Damn, went through the eyes again. I just totally forgot. Yeah, these narrower spaces are starting to bug me with regards to aiming while still trying to swim forwards in a somewhat straight line, but at least there's only one enemy at a time to deal with in here. At least there was last time. Eh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Jinx the roof supports? And then what? I get squashed? Oh shit, well okay, but why can't I just swim through it? Surely taking out one quarter of that obstacle creates a large enough hole for me to pass through. Shit, I barely have any health left and I'm being attacked again while having to deal with these super glue eyeballs holding together the ceiling. At least just like the enemies, these clusters of eyeballs give you that aiming ring to let you know what you're pointing at, but this is horse shit that I have to destroy all of them. Is that really necessary? Oh, for fuck's sake, I have to do this all over again? Even if I didn't destroy any of the eyeballs or take out any of one of the four quarters of these roof supports, this place is in such a state of decay that I can clearly already see holes in the ceiling that I could surely fit through that aren't being obstructed by the eyeballs. This is so stupid. Stupid. Stupid, stupid fucking game logic. Shit, now I'm really fucked. I'm gonna be able to, or I'm not gonna be able to make it at this rate with only five hit points left. Although, maybe I'll get lucky, who knows? Maybe Harry will stop being a dunce and just swim through the goddamned hole already. I'm um, survive, survive this long, who knows, might get through it. The logic of this is so ridiculous though. Oh damn, that was a close call, nearly got hit. Shoot. Yeah, maybe I can do this without getting hit again. Yes, I know I can. I'm so close now. God! Fuck! Damn it! 
And I could see ahead of me too, I knew I wouldn't have had to do it a third time, and I even brought down that final roof support. And then that's when I get killed. Jesus. Ugh. You know what would have made more sense besides not having holes in the roof supports themselves, thus completely defeating the purpose of destroying them to pass through? You could have just had it so that you destroyed four supports that just held up one large section of the roof up instead of their own smaller section, thus making it so that the roof would only collapse if you destroyed every single support and thus necessitating that you actually must destroy them all in order to remove that obstacle and continue onwards. You know, just little shit like that. I don't know. It makes, makes more sense. Oh, good. I wasn't sure if I was going to squeeze through there. So yeah, here I am, diving through the ruins of a submerged building. I wonder what this used to be, since it's at the bottom of a massive lake next to one of the most prestigious institutions of magic in the world. Well, here we go again. At least I have 90 hit points to start with. And no annoying Grindy lows yet. Surely they're coming. Oh, here they are. I knew their prolonged absence seemed too good to be true. And as far as I can tell, you can't get hurt when massive chunks of stone fall on you, so that's nice too. I feel like this is going much faster than last time. Or just seems easier somehow. See, I've already got three quarters of it done now. No, make that the whole thing. So now I'm halfway done with this stupid challenge of taking out roof supports to unobstruct my already unimpeded path, and I wasn't even hurt during any of that. And another thing I thought of, I know Gillyweed was supposed to last for an hour, but one thing they could have done differently is shorten that to something like a couple of minutes, and then touching additional underwater Gillyweed would instead refill your equivalent of an oxygen meter. I don't know if I'd be any happier with that over what they've done here instead, just making it speed you up, but it's a different idea, and using the gillyweed in that way would have made more sense. On the other hand, I'm not sure how that would have worked here, where you're stuck in one area until you can fulfill an objective to continue onwards. Unless they gave you a large supply to give you an extra minute or two, thus giving you a time limit, essentially, to get through this part of the task before you can reach more gillyweed beyond this area. What the fuck? Moving platforms? Oh, they're bells. I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. So there's only two people, and they were floating near the surface of the lake the whole time. Why did I have to go through swimming through all the ruins then? And oh, one shield. Fuck. Balls. And how many more shields do I need to really unlock that third task? I think I'd rather try my hand at getting more shit from the Herbology level than try to complete the second task as quickly as possible. <sighs> Alright, let's see what the damage is. Uh, oh, you're kidding! Wow, that's great! Might as well do it now, even if I do end up splitting it into another episode. Last night, something our champions value exceptionally was taken from them. That something now lies at the bottom of Black Lake. 